Hey guys, this is Zork Socks again. Um, my last video, here it is. Uh, I explained how to get ASIO for All to work on Windows Vista and Windows 7. And about 6,000 views later, I got a lot of positive feedback. So thanks for the positive feedback. It's very satisfying. I'm glad I helped some of you guys. But uh, with all the positive feedback, I got some negative feedback. People saying none of these methods worked. Um, a lot of people talked about laptop issues. This guy said it better than anyone. How do you do this on a laptop? And I gave him some kind of explanation that I figured would work, but this was basically just a guess because I didn't have a laptop at the time. Um, but I got my hands on one, and unfortunately I had no problems. None at all. In fact, I didn't have to use any of these three methods. It worked flawlessly, right out of the box. So, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I'll have to play around with that some more. But one thing you need to do if you have a problem and you want to post a comment, you have to be very specific. And this might go against your nature, but you need to speak in plain English. None of this shorthand or throwing numbers in there instead of letters. This is a technical problem, and I need to be able to understand what you guys are writing. So that's my only request. Um, so first off, someone had an issue with my second method and that is deactivating Windows Audio Service. And I guess they just needed some clarification on the consequences of this. There it is. This will pretty much guarantee ASIO will work, but it's going to deactivate sound everywhere else on your computer. If I do it now, my microphone will turn off and I don't want to do that, but Basically, you won't be able to do anything. You'll, you'll turn on FL Studio and you'll be able to play back what you recorded, but if you have an external MIDI device like a keyboard or a guitar, those won't work. Your instruments won't work. So this is only if you're inputting stuff via the um, alphabetic keyboard or by hand. So that might work for you. Otherwise, if you have any instruments, you got to avoid this or else, well, it just won't work. Um, a little trick I use, I'll explain here. Um, this is the microphone I'm recording my voice with right now. And this is um, an ambient microphone that is installed in a webcam. So I'll use this microphone when I'm playing games with someone or I'm trying to chat with them over Google Talk. The webcam microphone is when there's me and my brother or my sisters here and we're both trying to chat with someone. This picks up pretty much the whole room. And this input is for the audio on my PlayStation 3. So with all these different uses and all these different devices, I often find myself setting different things as the default and I, I go in there and listen through the speakers or the headphones. I keep changing all this stuff. And one thing I noticed is every once in a while it almost seems like wires get crossed or something because the digital audio, that that's an optical an optical input going from the PS3 to my sound card. I will set everything up, I'll turn my PS3 on and I'll get no sound. None at all. And it kind of defies logic because everything is supposed to work and I, I noticed that restarting the computer often solved that problem. So I, I figured out that restarting the audio service will also fix that problem. Um, so a little shortcut I made was this batch file. That's basically it. It stops the audio service and then starts it again. And just a little click on that. You hit yes and press enter and solves actually a lot of problems. I use it <laughs> every day or two, so you might want to take note of that. It's kind of handy. Um, so anyway, back to FL Studio. I actually discovered a better method than all my other ways to get ASIO to work. So basically, here's the problem. There is no sound. 
In fact, go to the audio settings, open the ASIO panel, and here is my output device, and it is unavailable. So before, I had you guys getting a second sound card and plugging something else into there to sidetrack wavetable synth and all that stuff, and that actually worked pretty good. It was it was kind of a neat workaround, but this way's better. So here's what you want to do. We will close FL Studio. It's extremely simple. Go to your playback devices, pick the device, your external speakers, or your headphones, or whatever one you want to use, and disable it. That's it. This, according to Windows, that device is disabled. But it's a soft disable, as opposed to a hard disable that is actually yanking out a cord. This is just some software telling Windows this device isn't to be used. And ASIO seems to have higher priority because it still thinks it's active. As we can see in the, the panel here, it is active. All we had to do is deactivate it in our sound properties. Um, I also got a comment someone posted on my last video just about 10 hours ago, and that they were saying that they didn't have any X's in any of their devices. I mean, everything was active and available, but they still got no sound. And here's what I think happened. Um, every sound card you have will only be able to accept one output and one input at a time. So this is the line out that I want to use. This goes out of my sound card to my external speakers. And this is another output on the same device. And if I activate that, here I'm going to open up a song for you to make it more interesting. We can hit play. And we hear the see the volume bouncing up and down. But because we're trying to output our sound with two devices two outputs on the same device at once, nothing's happening. So you just have to disable one. And it works. Activate this again and it turns off. So basically what you want is when you deactivate the uh, device you want to use, then you go into ASIO, you find it, you make sure it's highlighted, deactivate everything else. You don't need anything. This is this has an X on it because that's the uh, headphones I'm using. They're currently the default, so that was the original problem. Um, and a lot of people were complaining that once they used ASIO, unless they actually exited FL Studio, they couldn't hear any Windows sounds. Uh, sometimes they can, sometimes they don't. So, um, with this method, you can actually have... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Disabling your external speakers, you can have ASIO coming out one device, while your window sounds come out another device, like headphones or something like that. So, it's a workaround. Again, none of these are actual solutions. They just kind of work. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the trick I got for you today.